So we start here, and we go straight on this way, then we across the tree nursery. Then we go up here, because according to the last information, the injury is somewhere around here. Yeah. Mm. And after this, we continue, if it's possible, to see something different. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay? Tourists came to the village and asked somebody if it's possible to see something in the forest. The guide is just a spotter. So only a few people benefited by the ecotourism at the beginning. So Michinzu was formed in 1999 by the local villagers. They, they do not have work. At the beginning, we are starting as a guide only, protecting the forest, trying to plant trees, work a little bit in a human health. Uh, Michinzu means is look, looking ahead, looking for the future. Ni chi zu, like this. So this, that is my way. I am here. I must go there. Before, I was a guide. And after, they asked me to help them to make a reforestation here. Because I was born here in this uh, village, I can do this work because uh, I have uh, many, many knowledge about the, the rainforest here. Now uh, we have prepared this uh, mixed soil for the, the potting soil. And I uh, use this uh, mycorrhiza because uh, they need the mycorrhiza for help to grow fast. This project is a program to, to plant in a more tree, native tree here, to absorb the carbon in the atmosphere. We restored the 25 hectares per year. So we must grow 30,000 seedlings and with 60 different species of the native tree. So welcome to the tree nursery. As you see in here, this is one of the, the biggest projects we have. It was started in 2005. The pine trees, guava trees, eucalyptus are not from Madagascar. Mm -hmm. And this species of plant is something like invasive species. They stop the other species to grow. Mm -hmm. So we have to remove them and replace it by the native species. Mm -hmm. Yep. Giraffe neck weevil. Oh, oh. Wow. It's away. <laughs> have you seen, I think you have seen this plant already. Yeah. So this is a traveler's pole. So the, oh. the leaf it used for making roof, mm -hmm. as you see in uh, the ex bungalow in Nandasi Bay. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's made by the leaf of these plants. Yep. And also, we can find water inside in oh. these plants. So we try to find. Okay. So the water is not from the plants, but it is from the rain. Yep. So oh. if you find this plant into, in the forest like this, the water is safe. There is one. So that is also the reason why we call it traveler's palm, mm -hmm. because when you go alone into the forest, mm -hmm. you may not have any water bottle, but it is possible to drink water. Yeah. yeah. This is my father, this is me, this is my mother. I remember when I was a child, playing in a forest with the friends, like hunting birds, finding honey. So it's already a big lesson that you give me that. I was doing many things here with you, 
and now I work here. So Stan Claude is like a part of the, my family. When I was uh, the child, uh, I was playing uh, with uh, this Stan Claude uh, near this forest. And uh, sometimes we was going in a uh, forest to looking for like a firewood and uh, the wild honey and uh, like uh, just uh, relax in the rainforest. The human is the depend of the, the forest and the forest is depend of the, 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 the animals and the animals is depend of the forest. Almost the uh, original founders of this association are still here because each founder has their own responsibility. This is my project. As I started in 2010, the goal of this the project is to work on the amphibian conservation because this is the first of its kinds in Madagascar. I went to train in the US in 2013 because Michinzo runs the first breeding facility in Madagascar. So even here we have many biologists, but nobody knows about how to breed frog, how to keep frog in captivity. I am the, the first person who can, who can do this. The amphibians of Madagascar are threatened by many different things. Habitat loss, pet trade, deserts. So that is the reason why it is not allowed for people to go inside of this facility. I like uh, the nature and the animals for ninth floor. And I like to collaborate uh, with local people. Today, I make the practice of them to plant the beans. They don't do this last hand burn, no. It's better for the forest and the animals, just for everyone in this area. The farmer behind me is doing this last and burn. The soil is going to be destroyed by this activity. I am going to tell something to the, the, the villagers here. I don't know if they will listen to me about this to stop slash and burn. Some of them still continuing, but even though Michinzu is trying to continue again to talk with everybody to stop it forever. What do you want as a, uh, as a job when you finish your study? Just so slowly. If we push it so fast, the, the, the earth wall must be die. Here we have these three different species in two different tanks. They almost eat everything. You must spray, uh, spray the frog because you know frogs are not the same as the other animals because they breathe uh, through the, uh, the skin. This is one of the second generation from the species we have in the facility. And uh, you know, it is not allowed for the people to go inside the facility. So that is the reason why we have to establish this 
small captive breeding here, like a public terrarium for the tourists, for the students. Okay, now we are not far from the Indri group, mm -hmm. but I don't know yet where today are exactly. This is one of the research we, we do here to learn about their behavior. Once upon a time, a small boy named Kutu went into the forest to, mm -hmm. to find honey and he found a beehive mm -hmm. in a tree and he is trying to climb up there to collect the honey. And he doesn't have any idea how to move it down on the ground. But an injury arrive and bring Kutu on the back and bring him on the ground. So the family puts like a strict rules. So it is forbidden for the Kutu's family to eat the injury. In uh, 2007, I started to observe the behavior, the range of lemur. All uh, species of uh, lemurs, they hunt except of uh, Indri because of the Malagas people think uh, Indri is the relatives. Comme ici, nous avons besoin d'une responsable d'éducation environnementale et plus que c'est aussi une liaison sur l'enseignement. Et j'ai accepté parce que j'étais née ici et c'est important pour moi, euh, l'environnement et du amour de la nature aussi au plus. Et on travaille euh, avec des écoles aux alentours d'Andasibé. Euh, durant l'année scolaire, on faisait ça. Et pendant les vacances, on essaye de, de faire des clubs. Ce sont des enfants qui n'ont pas le moyen d'aller de, faire des voyages. Aujourd'hui, notre leçon, c'était sur l'Indri. Le fait de aussi font partie des choses qui nous aident sur la conservation. Parce que les gens ici, ils ne mangent pas, ils ne bouffent pas l'Indri. Miss Fava, Miss Tanana, Miss Tugut. Tizoa, Afrika mono koe tati. Mais les enfants qui n'ont pas cette possibilité, on leur prenne ici pour étudier ou bien euh, c'est pas seulement se, se focaliser par une étude, mais aussi on fait des jeux pour se distraire. In this small village in Minalamba, in 2008, we established this project here. Ravau is one of the uh, local people, local women from this village, who is in charge of teaching all the local people here about the family planning and HIV. Hard to find them. They move, but uh, difficult 
to follow them. Look, there are that one is one group and uh, one family and uh, common brown. Uh, they was hunted when I did the expedition in the forest. I found many traps with the common brown. One common brown also died because of the trap. It's not really good. And uh, the individual now is a decrease. Very sad. There is animal sleeping on a plant here, mm -hmm. on this vine and this tree. So this animal, we call it the king of camouflage. <laughs> the king of camouflage, because when they sleep on a trunk, it looks like the barks of the tree. Yeah, It's a night active animal. So the name is the mossy leaf tailed gecko. The gecko does not change color. Yes. So it is not the same as chameleon. So when it sleeps, it must find the, the same color as oh, okay. its skin. I'm not sure for 100%, but I hope he will like this. Because when I ask him, do you like this work? And he says, yes. And I say, why? I just like it, he says. That's all, that's all. You, 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 you. Uh, we found one frog, so we have to take photo. Then after we can check in the book. Hey. And think. So something. We can identify which species is always in this height. It is maybe one of the. Uh, Platypelis barburi. Platypelis. Uh, okay, this one. Platypelis barburi. We found this one. With this one. And this one. This is the same. Hmm? Same This? We can hear two different spaces here now. It's just... Huh? Can you see? I can't see anything, but just the water is moving like this. He says there is some frog in the water there. But I hear two different species. Oh, yes! Here. Come here. Can you see it? It's a big frog. Yes. Good guy. Well spotted. I was thinking about Buffy Spirus, but this is a different one. Walk. Walk. That is the sound of this species. So this is. A Bufus madagascariensis, which has this uh, two spines on the knee, I think. And also the size is smaller, so this is a male.
Because he always preferred walking with me in the forest, in the village, almost everywhere. I, I grew up here for this 35 years and I really appreciate this nature here. My life depends on the forest here. I like staying near the forest. I like staying near the nature.